Aloha Kako, DJ Vision 2, and this is DJ Kano. I almost got it backwards there. You probably heard me. That's okay. I'm keeping it in the cut. All right. What I'm doing here is we're going to talk about, I guess, my best builds. And the reason for this is because I just put out a video for why should you get the Division 2. Uh, it's on sale at the PlayStation Store right now. And I'm just looking to try to help grow the community. I have no stake in whether or not you buy the game or not. I just think it's a really cool game, and I want to put it out there for a lot of people that may not know about it or have not been told the right information or whatever. So I would check out the video because it goes over a lot more detail in terms of what the game is going into and what it's about and what you get from it. But this one is going to be in correlation to what I talked about in that video in terms of gameplay and how you can customize the big big deal i've always loved about certain games that i like to play are the ability to change and customize things to your liking and have control over your game and this is a game that's pretty darn close to it so let's take a look at some of the builds the combination of gear guns and skills that i have been using so far and these will be yeah i guess it's kind of like a a builds highlight reel so let's start off with this mission this is the Grand Washington Hotel, and I'm going to start off with my DPS build. This is my damage per second build. It is a very squishy build. As you can see, it's all red, and that what that means is I can put out tons and tons of damage, but I don't have any blue, which would be my defensive stuff. So I'm not very well defended. I will not be able to take a lot of damage. All right, That's what that build's about. And let's take a look at Grand Washington Hotel and play it on Heroic, just because I am a glutton for punishment. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can output here. All right, these guys are pretty simple. Yeah, so heroic is the difficulty that I've chosen to put this on. And it is amongst the hardest, one of the hardest in the game. Right? Just be, and, and hardest meaning that the enemies will do more damage to you than the lower levels. Alright, so let's go ahead and change it to a different build. So that was my damage per second build. I have a something quite different. Let's go something a little more different. This is going to be a... What is this? Dark Zone build? What did I do to this one? Ah, this is not too bad. Basically, you want to look for something that... This is like a rusher build. This is going to be more close quarters. So it happens to have this brand set here. that A gear set that's called a Hunter's Fury. And what it does is when you're close, within 15 meters, you get a debuff. And basically, it applies weapon damage against them, against your enemies by 20%. So you get an extra 20% damage just by being close to enemies. And when you kill somebody, all those that are around them within 5 meters get disoriented. So that is a pretty cool thing about this particular brand set. I'm also using talents like Obliterate, which gives me weapon damage the more times I shoot at somebody. And my backpack, the, every kill I get, I'm going to get bonus armor. You're going to see my armor, which is going to be... If you look at my screen i have those little white bars right above the number eight those little white bars are my regular armor if you see blue on top of there that's bonus armor that's what i'm getting from this backpack so this backpack is giving me something pretty cool all right so let's take a look and see how this works i am still pretty much high damage but i have a couple of blue pieces to keep me better protected than the last build you saw me use all right so how does this build work let's get into it and see so the other build because i was very very susceptible to damage I'd be a little more careful. With this one, I don't have to be too careful. Okay, so what I'm using right now is one of my skills, one of my gadgets that I talked about in the last video. And it's a little firefly, little bug that I throw out. And it goes out and it's going to blind people. So you see the icon above their head? She's blinded. She can't see what's going on. And I have a chance to get out there and do some damage before they do damage to me. All right. So this is a little bit more close quarters build than the last one you saw me use. Okay, so I have some armor, but not a lot. So I gotta be careful. Like that, see? See, see? All right, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Luckily, my second skill is a reviver hive. So it's actually slowly picking me up and I have an opportunity to get into cover. I gotta get out of here, all right. I knew I could hear a rusher coming. This lady was right next to me. She likes to swing her baton and hit people. 
All right, so now she's out of the way. I can get back in there. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, get in the cover. Let's blind this guy. Oh, nope, my fly missed. That's right, I got this gun. This particular gun is good for people up close and personal. All right, so that build, you can see that the gameplay is very, very different, right? So I'm looking at something completely different for my gameplay. Let me change it over to my sniper build now. Okay, sniper builds are essentially pretty squishy as well. It's another high damage build. Okay, let's take a look at it real quick. So I got a sniper rifle here. It's made for sniping people. I got uh, things like this, headshot damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance. So I'm still very red. I got special knee pads that basically if I just stay still, um, I can get up to 30% extra weapon damage. So it's really, really nice to have certain pieces like this. This is an exotic piece that you earn through random RNG, so random, random number generator, depending on how good your luck is, what you get. Um, from loot dropping in the open world. All right, so that's basically what this build is. It's another damage build with different, slightly different pieces, but it's made for shooting people in the head. All right, so let's take a look. The chest piece I'm using, if I get someone with a headshot kill, it provides amplified damage to the next headshot. If I keep getting headshot kills, I will continually stack my damage and I can essentially chain kills over and over and over again as long as i don't miss i can continue to chain headshots okay so far so good i haven't missed yet okay so i uh that did count as a miss but fortunately it doesn't affect me losing that that buff i gotta watch out for that runner because she's coming at my back right now The reason I'm not killing her is because she has a helmet on. If I try to shoot her in the helmet, I'm going to lose my buff. I'm going to have no choice because she's chasing me. All right. So that was my secondary gun. Always good to have a reliable secondary. All right. Move, move, move. What are you doing? Oh, hey, buddy. Can't snipe you when you're that close. All right. You too, huh? You want to come up close and personal? All right. I'm going to insult you by shooting you with my pistol. Yeah, get out of here. Whoa. He got me back. So let's not forget to check our loot and see if anything good might have come from it. Negatory. All right, that was a sniper build. Let's see what else we got here. Um, this next section, I'm trying to think of what it looks like. You. Let's let's snipe a little bit more, and then I'm going to change to a different build, and we get to the next section. All right. So snipe for just a little bit longer down this corridor. lady with the helmet right there there goes the helmet there goes her face there goes his hates and there goes her face somebody else back there somebody else is back there what you doing bud i can see your radar oh there you are but hey you got a shield hmm? my shield buddy all right, so yeah, sniping is done for now. I'm gonna go to a crowd control build. So this is a skill-based build. I talked about this briefly in my other uh, video. And I'm gonna be doing uh, status damage with uh, electricity. And this is gonna be riot foam. Both are statuses and we'll apply that extra vile mass debuff. So they'll be, they'll be losing some health if they just get hit with any of these skills. Uh, keep in mind, that you see yellow, 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 the little battery icon. 
I'm not going to get a lot of damage from my weapons. I only have one red piece. So I'm not trying to rely upon my weapons for this build. I'm relying upon my skills. That's what the yellow is all about. All right, let's take a look. All right, so we get out here, we throw the traps. And look how big, nice and big. Stick her to the floor and shoot. Okay, so I'm trying to get a kill. So she had all of those statuses on top of her when she died. So they were all close enough that I, they passed on to them. All right, this guy is gonna be a problem. So I wanna sticky him. Okay, so yellow guys have um, are stronger, harder to kill. So watching my radar on the top to make sure I don't get careless and someone sneaks up on the side of me. Okay, so I got this guy down here. I also have fire grenades. Fire is a status. So someone is sneaking up on me. I can see my radar is getting full. Nope, they move back. All right, I'm clear. basically it so you saw the difference in gameplay again so this is all the same mission right but i can change up my gameplay throughout one mission or if i wanted to keep my gameplay consistent throughout one one run through but then come back again even though i know the mission i can change up my gameplay further so your gameplay change is not within the map you don't acquire new maps new dlc you just have to go out there and acquire loot the better loot you get the more diverse your gameplay can get right Let's see, um, lobotomy, let's try lobotomy, all right. This is a headshot build, so it's not just for sniping, although I do have a sniper rifle. It's good for both far and close range. So let's do the far range, because I have no choice for this section. All right, let's get in. What's up, bud? Different sniper rifle than the last build, too. Got one, got two. I want that guy to stand up right here. Don't need to stand up when I can shoot you in the head. All right. Whoa, somebody was shooting me hard. Back of the head there and right in the face there. Okay, so I was talking about chaining headshots, right? The chest piece that I'm using is right here. It is called, ironically, you see the name on the very top, the chain killer. So every time I get a headshot, it amplifies my damage for the next uh, shot that I take. So if I keep going from headshot to headshot, I keep stacking my damage. As long as I don't miss a headshot. When I say miss the headshot, I don't mean miss altogether. If I miss and shoot the wall, I still retain that damage. As long as I don't shoot the enemy on a different body part. So if I shoot him like on the arm or the chest, then I will lose that damage buff. I have to go and get a headshot again. Alright, so this one, I that was just sniping, but I want to show you why this is a lobotomy build, not just for sniping build. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. I am a red, this is a red base build still, but I have some protection and I'm using my pistol instead of my my sniper rifle all right so let's get into this there's a headshot there all 
So I got the headshot there. One shot, one kill. Let's get this guy missed. Wants to get close? We can get close. I got my shield, bud. This guy's losing uh, his health anyway. Get my shield out. Whoa! Where did that guy come from? Alright, so because I'm playing on a heroic level, you die, you go back to the beginning. No problem, because I'm just displaying my builds anyway. So let's finish up displaying this build. I told you I was squishy. It was a dangerous build. But if I get a headshot, it provides that big explosion. And it actually hurts everyone else nearby. Okay, so that's why it's a lobotomy build. All right, let's take a look at this build. I have a uh, exotic pistol. This is a pistol you get from the raid. Every time you get a headshot, it creates an explosion, dealing 400% weapon damage. So really, really cool. And I have a holster. That if you keep it stacked, I can get up to a thousand percent extra damage with the first shot that comes out of my holster. Every other shot after that will just be a regular headshot kill. But I do have the chain killer, so I can amplify that damage and keep it. Let's go over a couple more builds before we finish up this mission. Let's see. All right, this is a really good one. So this one is the skill build. And let's go. Let's go over negotiator's dilemma first, while we are on the point on the topic of uh damage builds right so this 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 brand set okay this one is four piece brand set a uh, gear set rather and it has the cost negotiations i can mark enemies with critical hits when i when i mark them those that are marked i shoot one they all take damage that's the beauty of this build so you'll be you'll be able to see the marks on top of their heads let's go into this Whoa. okay let's put the decoy out all right so Waiting till you see that red icon, red icon. So I'm shooting him. It's hard to tell because I can't really see the other guys. But anyone with the mark, so that guy has the mark, that guy has the mark. If I shoot one guy, see if you can see it on top of the other guy. You saw him losing health on the right? Yep. Because they shared the mark. If I shoot one, they all, the, all of those with the mark will lose health. All right, try this again. Okay, so that was a pretty minimal but good display. <laughs> and let's see what else we got here. I have a... Let's go over this. This is a good one. You see that this is the complete opposite now. This one I have all blues. Okay, so that means I'll be able to take a lot more damage, but I will not be able to output too much damage. Let's let's do that for the next section. Let's go over this one first. Robotussin build. This is a skill build. It uses a purple smoke called the Oxidizer that will melt enemies. And uh, that's why it's called Robotussin. Purple smoke. Robotussin, anybody? Okay, all right. Okay, so this is not, again, not too much weapon damage. This is going to be about skills. So I'm going to throw out my skills and try not to shoot them too much with my weapons. Okay, so purple smoke. Purple smoke. You can see that the smoke and the shock traps and everything. High damage. Everyone's just melt melting from my skills. Nope, buddy, you're gone. Nope, you're, you're gone. Okay, you just keep covering the map in purple smoke. Alright, purple, purple, purple. Nope, no grenades. Whoa. I said no grenades, he still did it. Trying to just melt these guys with my oxidizer. That's the purple smoke you see. 
And you can actually see their health slowly draining off their body. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. So just a sniper left. Let's go get him. He's just standing. He's, oh, look, he's just taking it. All right, just want to breathe in the smoke. It's fine with me. It's fine with me, buddy. Oh, ooh, he sniped me hard. In the back. Huh. She ran into the smoke. Hmm, weird. All right, that was a skill build, an example of a skill build, right? So everything has to do with my damage from my skills, like I had mentioned. Okay. Let's see what else I got left. I, I have I have so many other builds. I have so many others on my. I have other characters that have other builds too. So this is just again, like I said, it's a highlight reel of how your gameplay can change depending on what you're using. Okay, let's go over one more build before I just finish off this mission. All right, and basically it's going to be a healer build. I don't usually have to run a healer build for myself, but if I was in a team, I could have a build that is dedicated to healing my teammates. So I can drop this on the ground. If I take damage, I will get healed. Take a little bit of damage. I can drop this on the ground too, heal myself. Oh, language, buddy. Okay, because I'm wearing a yellowish build, uh, skills are healing skills. You can see that my damage is not that high versus my DPS build that would be melting these dudes. All right, let's see. I can actually pick this up and move it around and throw it somewhere else if I wanted to heal a buddy or whoever else I'd be playing with. All right, but yeah, that's basically it's basically my builds. So I'm going to finish off this gameplay with my lobotomy build. Lobotomy? Yeah, Prey Hunter. This is my sniper build. All right? But yeah, that was the greatest hits. I hope that gave you guys a good example of what, a diff what different builds can really do for you. It changes your gameplay completely and allows you customization and options even though you play the same mission over and over again. So in a way, it was kind of good that I died. So you can see I went through this area, but I played through it differently. I went through it twice, but I played through it differently depending on what I'm wearing and the builds that I decided to create and make. All right. Um, until next time, guys, uh, enjoy the gameplay. Shoots.
Hostiles flooding into the building from the street. Get down there and take care of them. 